Bus drivers are on the wish list of nearly every school system in our region. News 4's Jackie Benson takes a look at last minute efforts to hire more people to fill this critical job and what's motivating some drivers to apply. In Prince George's County, they showed up at the Skyline Administration Building in Suitland with paperwork in hand. With nearly every employer in the D.C. area hiring, many told us they deliberately made a choice to come here to step up and serve the children of their community. I have uh, several kids of my own, so therefore I already got the patient with children, so I'm willing to do it and get them to school and from school. To fill its shortage of nearly 200 bus drivers, the school system is offering a starting wage of $20 an hour plus benefits. They'll help qualified candidates obtain a commercial driver's license. Many who showed up to apply for this challenging job to safely bring our children back and forth from school said their motivation comes from the heart. I would consider myself setting an example for the next generation coming to work. It's an opportunity to interact with kids and be around professional people at all times. In Fairfax County, Virginia, the bus driver shortage came up at a virtual back-to-school meeting with Superintendent Michelle Reed. We had a large number of drivers take the um, CDL training courses this summer, and we're excited about our new drivers, and we're really excited about our veteran drivers, uh, many of whom have driven for a very long time. Reed says some routes will again be so-called double backs this year. It means that one bus is required to run two scheduled routes back-to-back -back that would normally have been covered by two separate buses. It has the potential to create domino-like delays. Jackie Benson, News 4.